Hello everyone, I Sayed Nawaz and welcome back into my YouTube channel Petroleum Universe. So, I hope you got an idea by seeing the screen that in today's video we are going to discuss about the properties of crude oil. So, let us quickly see the content for today's video, which is nothing but first we are going to see the sorry, first we are going to see the introductory part of uh, today's video. Then finally we are going to see the properties, what properties we can. Uh, uh, learn or we can see about crude oil and in the introductory part uh, we are going to see the definition of hydrocarbon and uh, based on what properties the properties of crude oil uh, have been classified means the physical and chemical properties based on what parameters properties have been classified so let us go move for next slide so the definition for crude oil as we all know that it's a mixture of uh, uh, predominantly of hydrocarbon then obviously we will be having some kind of impurities which are nothing but sulfur nitrogen oxygen etc or uh, other kind of impurities also okay and uh, in over here you can see that uh, properties mainly rely on so properties of crude oil mainly rely, rely on these two parameters which are nothing but over in the first parameter you can see the three things which are nothing but p v and t which is the uh, uh, which are pressure volume and temperature okay but according to me my favorite my, my favorite parameter of a crude oil, of a reservoir is nothing but a pressure okay because as a pressure varies so there are so many properties uh, which are good which are which comes into picture in the reservoir or in the crude oil okay and apart from that based on quantity and quality of a hydrocarbon also you can classify many properties okay so let us quickly see the properties over here so these are the properties of the crude oil okay but over in this video we are going to discuss some properties which are nothing but density api gravity sorry specific gravity api we are going to discuss these three along with the bomber bomber series okay so let us quickly see uh, density first so density the definition of density is like the density of a crude oil is defined as its mass per unit volume at a specified pressure and temperature it's an obvious okay so okay so over here i can consider that the density as i said in the definition it is nothing but mass per unit volume but as you as you come for a specific gravity so the specific gravity is defined to be the ratio of densities so the ratio of densities means whenever we are calculating the specific gravity of oil then the density of oil has to be divided or it it has to, it should have a base uh, for it should have a base of water and apart from that if you are calculating the specific gravity of oil then the base should be a air okay and you have to remember that as you can see over here that the specific gravity of oil is nothing but density of oil by density of water this density of oil and this density of water they both has to be measured at same at same pressure and temperature okay at same reference pressure and temperature so this you have to keep in mind if you are measuring uh, the oil density at different temperature and water density at different temperature then your uh, specific gravity won't be is not correct okay. i'm sure about that and apart from that if you see the last uh, if you see the next definition if you see the next definition which is nothing but api gravity so here i would like to tell you that api gravity will only tell you that how heavy your oil or how lighter your crude oil is when compared with water okay so let us uh, see the formula for that and i and i would like to also and i would also like to tell you that api and uh, api gravity and density of uh, any parameter of any uh, fluid uh, were inversely proportional to each other let us see in the formula that how they are inversely proportional so as you can see over here the degree of api is nothing but the formula is 141.5 divided by specific gravity measured at 60 degree Fahrenheit and whole the this whole will be subtracted 
from 135 point 131.5 okay so as you can see over here the specific gravity is at denominator then obviously if something is in denominator then that property and the main property they both are inversely proportional to each other okay so what does this inversely proportional mean so if you are if your crude oil has a higher specific gravity then obviously your api gravity will be low when compared to any other fluid and if your specific gravity of a crude oil is very low then your degree of api will be very high okay and over here you can see that uh, the degree of bome series so this degree of bome and this degree of api they both uh, uh, gives you the same parameter which is nothing but uh, how heavier or lighter the oil crude oil is okay so over over in when compared to these two uh, series there will be a, there is a slight change of uh, 141.5 and you can see over here that it is just uh, 140 but uh, the specific gravity in both uh, in both the series were measured at uh, 60 degree foreign heat okay so I hope, I hope you understood this so let us see the next slide that uh, it is nothing but the density of a crude oil so as you can see over here the density is nothing but just it is a mass by volume okay so over here if you can see that i have 64 point 62.4 into specific gravity and over here i have a numerical constant which is nothing but 0 0.0136 rs uh, which is nothing but uh, gas solubility Okay, into its specific gravity of oil divided by BO. So this particular formula for calculating density of oil is at only one particular condition when the reservoir pressure is below the bubble point pressure. So if you want to calculate density of oil below the bubble point pressure then you have to use this particular formula to calculate density of a oil. Okay. So that's an end uh, for uh, today's video. I hope uh, you like I hope you like it if you like so then uh, hit like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel petroleum universe and if you have any doubts or comments or any suggestions then you can then you know that you can use my comment box and apart from that uh, please uh, press the bell icon to receive the latest notification of my videos so that's it for today thank you so much stay safe bye bye